After clicking on the link, you'll get to this page. So let's just click get started. Now we're going to choose our plan. Uh, you can upgrade at any time. So let's just start with the basic plan here on the left. Now we're going to set up the domain. This is where your emails will be sending from. So for this demonstration, uh, I'm just going to use a new website, lukeinteractive.com. It will tell me if it's available on the next page, which it is. I'll let you fill in all of the account information, but down in this package information section, uh, you can just choose the basic 12 month plan. Just in case this isn't for you, you're not locked into 36 months. So let's say the basic 12 month plan. We're gonna uncheck all of these. They're not needed. Uh, down your payment information, enter your credit card and agree to the terms of service. Hit submit and I'll see you in the next lesson. Okay, now that the Bluehost account has been created, we're gonna download the automated marketing software. And to do this, we're gonna go to modic.org. Once on the site, we're going to hit the download section at the top here. And I uh, want you to fill in some information for them. So let's do that now. and hit the download button. Now it's going to take a second and give you a zip file that we're going to import into our Bluehost web files. So once that finishes downloading, uh, click the next lesson. After Modic has finished downloading, we're gonna head back into the Bluehost portal and its dashboard, and we're gonna create a subdomain to host the Modic software. So on this left side, click domains and then this drop down arrow down to subdomain. I'm gonna open up a new tab. Uh, I like to use just Modic so we know what we're talking about here. It's gonna auto generate uh, the folder and click create. And then after it's created, we're going to uh, add the SSL certificate. So. Uh, down here in the advanced section, let's give it a second to load. Scroll down to security and SSL TLS status, click that link. And on the next page, you will see a red icon for the subdomain that you just created. So up here, click Run Auto SSL. And this is going to take a couple minutes, but once completed, it's going to turn green. Once that is done, uh, click the next lesson. Okay, after a few minutes of that running, you're going to get a success notification, and you'll see a green icon next to the subdomain that you just created. Uh, the one more thing we have to do is create an email address. So click advanced and scroll down to email accounts, which is under email and then the blue create button. Now we'll have your domain name here. We're going to pick a username. I just like to use my first name and generate a password. Make sure you save that. Hit the create button and there you'll see uh, the new email address you just created. Our next step is to extract the modic files into our new subdomain. And to do that, we're going to click advanced to open up our C panel and then click the file manager. And under the public HTML folder, will be the subdomain that we created called Modic. So we'll double click Modic, and then the upload button, and then drag into here. Now it's gonna take a bit to upload, but once done, click the next lesson. All right, once that's finished uploading, we're gonna go back to the previous tab, and we're gonna hit reload. 
will be our file right there. Click it and then extract, extract files. And then close. Now there's everything right there. The one more thing we need to do is create a database. So go back to the C panel and then my SQL database wizard. I'm gonna name the database. I like to just name it Modic. Next up, create a username. I like to just use my first name and a password and create user. Here we're going to select all privileges and then click next step. And there we go. With all that completed, it's now time to install Modic. So we're going to open a new tab and go to the subdomain that we created. And if you get this error, we need to downgrade our PHP version. So go back to the C panel, scroll down to multi PHP manager. We're going to select our subdomain and we're going to downgrade it to 7.2 Hit apply. Once we get that success notification, we can go back to that tab and hit refresh and it will bring up the Modic installer. We can now click next step. It will bring us to this database setup. So we're going to have to enter the database name and the database username that we created in the last section. So if you go back to the C panel and then click my SQL databases and copy what we created. And then the username and the password and then next step. So for the admin username, I like to just use admin and a password. It's your first and last name and the email address that we created a while back. So next step. It's gonna ask you who you want the emails to be sent as we're going to send immediately and we're going to uh, change this later and I'm going to recommend what I use but for now we'll just keep it as PHP mail so hit next step and now I'll ask you for that login information hit login and I'll bring you to the modic dashboard and we will go over a lot of these things a little later on. 